This is the Global Economic Scrap Metal Commodities and Recycling Report by Benley Roloff Trailers and Gondola Trailers, September 3rd, 2019. U.S. steel production rose to 1.877 million tons, but is trending down with a slowing economy. Oil rose to 54.71 a barrel on OPEC production cuts to reduce supply during the economic slowing. U.S. oil production rose to 12.5 million barrels a day, a new record on great shale oil production. Iron ore continued its major fall to $86.50 a ton on continued global slowing. It did rise to $89 a ton this morning, though. Scrap steel number one heavy melt was steady at $248.33. Most expect a drop of $15 per gross ton or more this week on global slowing and many U.S. steel mills planning outages. Hot rail coil steel rose slightly to $29.17 per hundred on continued slowing growth. Copper was flat at $253, the multi-year low on a slowing global economy. Aluminum fell as well, slightly to $0.77.6, cents. again a new multi-year low on the slowing economy. Bridgewater Associates is the largest global hedge fund in the world with $130 billion in assets. The founder, Ray Dalio, said he is concerned about the current economic conditions, which were similar to the pre-1930s depression. Central bank low interest rates are not helping the economy. A huge wealth gap and political party polarity with a trade war slowing the global economy. China's August factory index fell, now the fourth straight month of contraction. The trade war hurt new orders, employment and output, including export orders, were down for the 15th straight month. Germany is the world's fourth largest economy after the U.S., China, and Japan. Their second quarter economy contracted as exports, especially to China, fell hard. Note, two quarters in a row of contraction equal a recession. We're not there yet, but it could be. Second quarter U.S. GDP economic growth rose 2% down from 3.1% in Q1. 2% is too slow to offset last year's tax cuts and missed the 4, 5, and 6% forecasted growth the tax cut were to bring. So this means we're now running huge and growing government deficits. Tariffs continue to slow the U.S. and global economy. New orders for the U.S. made durable goods rose 2.1% in July with a strong increase in military aircraft orders and appliances, while metal fabricated products were down. U.S. consumer confidence fell to near a three-year low, the largest drop in about seven years. Consumers are becoming more concerned about tariff policies and how they will affect rising unemployment and increased inflation. This is a very, very serious situation due to consumer spending drives about 75% of the U.S. economy. July's U.S. personal spending rose a nice 0.6%, boosted by consumer durables and non-durables as well as services. Related, the Fed's preferred inflation measure rose only 1.6% year-on-year, remaining below the central bank's 2% target. Both good news. U.S. initial unemployment claims rose slightly, but remains incredibly low as U.S. job growth continues. That's good news as well. Wall Street's Dow Jones average rose 774 points to 26,403 on positive tariff talk coming from the U.S. and China, but new tariffs against China did kick in this weekend on clothes and shoes, while China started new tariffs against the U.S. on oil and agricultural products. As always, feel free to call or email me with any questions, and we hope all have a safe and profitable week.